Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into the world of cloud implementation, breaking down the top five techniques that can transform your business. Whether you're a tech head or running your own company, this one's for everyone. Let's get into it. All right, so you're looking at the cloud thinking, how do I even begin? Sometimes the simplest approach is the best one. Lift and shift, also known as re-hosting, is basically what it sounds like. You're taking your existing applications and moving them as is to a cloud platform. Think of it like moving apartments. You're taking your furniture and boxes, just as they are, to a new location. It's quick, relatively easy, and you're up and running in your new environment in no time. This technique is all about minimizing disruption. You're not making major changes to your applications, so there's less risk involved. Plus, it's cost-effective, especially for simpler workloads that don't require a complete overhaul. Think of legacy applications, the backbone of your business for years. Lift and Shift lets you get these applications onto the cloud quickly without major refactoring. It's the no-fuss approach to getting your business cloud ready. So we've covered the basics with Lift and Shift, but what if you want to take things a step further? What if you want to optimize and enhance your applications during the migration process? That's where replatforming comes in. It's a step beyond the basic migration, offering more refined control. This technique is about making subtle, yet impactful optimizations during the migration process. These tweaks can significantly improve performance and efficiency. Think of it like moving to a new city and upgrading some of your furniture to better fit your new place. It's about making your new environment work better for you. You're still moving your applications to the cloud, but you're making them even better, enhancing them to take full advantage of cloud capabilities. It's like giving your applications a performance tune-up, fine-tuning them to run more smoothly and efficiently. You're not rebuilding from scratch, but leveraging cloud-native capabilities to boost efficiency and scalability. This means better performance without the need for a complete overhaul. Let's say you've got an application running on an outdated database. This can be a bottleneck for performance and scalability. With replatforming, you can switch to a cloud-based database service like Amazon RDS or Google SQL. This transition can greatly enhance your application's capabilities. This simplifies management and gives you better performance, scalability, and cost savings. It's a win-win situation for your IT infrastructure. If you've got applications that can benefit from cloud-powered enhancements, re-platforming is the way to go. It allows you to harness the full power of the cloud. It's the strategic approach to cloud migration. By planning and executing these optimizations, you ensure a smoother, more efficient transition to the cloud. Chapter 3. Refactoring, Architecting for the Future We're talking about a complete transformation here, a fundamental shift in how we approach and manage our technology infrastructure. Refactoring is like taking your old car and rebuilding it from the ground up into a high-performance machine, ensuring every part is optimized for peak performance. It's the most complex and involved approach, but trust me, the results can be game-changing offering unprecedented levels of efficiency and capability. We're not just moving applications here, we're re-architecting them to be completely cloud-native, designed to leverage the full potential of cloud environments. Think microservices, containerization, the works. These are the building blocks of modern, scalable applications. This means breaking down your applications into smaller, independent components that can be easily scaled and managed in the cloud, each functioning autonomously. It's like taking a monolithic structure and turning it into a series of interconnected Lego blocks, each with a specific role. Each block has its own specific function, and you can easily swap them out, upgrade them, or scale them independently, providing unmatched flexibility. This gives you unparalleled flexibility and agility allowing your systems to adapt quickly to changing demands. Refactoring is all about maximizing the benefits of the cloud, ensuring your applications are as efficient and effective as possible. 
we're talking about achieving true scalability, resilience, and cost efficiency, making your operations more robust and cost-effective. Of course, this approach is not for the faint of heart. It involves tackling complex challenges head-on. It requires significant time, resources, and expertise, demanding a high level of commitment and skill. But for those complex, business-critical applications, the payoff can be huge, transforming your business operations and driving success. Chapter 4. Repurchasing. The SaaS shortcut to cloud bliss. Sometimes, the best way to embrace the cloud is to let someone else handle the heavy lifting. This is especially true for businesses looking to optimize their operations without getting bogged down by technical details. That's where repurchasing comes in, also known as moving to SaaS or software as a service. It's a strategic move that can transform the way your business operates. Think of it like trading in your old car for a brand new, fully loaded model. You're not just upgrading, you're stepping into a whole new realm of possibilities. You're switching from managing your own on-premise software to subscribing to a cloud-based solution. This shift can significantly reduce the burden on your IT team. Instead of dealing with hardware, software updates and maintenance, you're getting a turnkey solution that's ready to go. This means less downtime and more focus on your core business activities. And the best part? It's all managed by the SaaS provider, so you can focus on running your business. They handle the technical aspects, ensuring everything runs smoothly. Repurchasing is all about simplification. It's about making your business processes more efficient and user-friendly. You're getting rid of the complexity of on-premise solutions and embracing the ease of use and accessibility that SaaS offerings provide. This can lead to increased productivity and employee satisfaction. This approach is perfect for organizations looking to streamline operations and reduce IT overhead. It allows you to allocate resources more effectively. If you're looking for a simplified, cost-effective and feature-rich cloud solution, repurchasing is worth exploring. It could be the key to unlocking your business's full potential in the cloud. Chapter 5. Hybrid Deployment Bridging the gap between worlds. What if you're not ready to go all in on the cloud just yet? Maybe you have specific security concerns, regulatory requirements, or legacy applications that are not ready for a full migration. That's where hybrid deployment comes in, offering the best of both worlds. It's like having a dual SIM phone. You can switch between networks depending on your needs. With hybrid deployment, you're combining your existing on-premise infrastructure with the power and flexibility of the cloud. This approach gives you the flexibility to keep sensitive data on-premises while leveraging cloud resources for other workloads. It's about finding the right balance between security, compliance, and innovation. You can start by migrating less critical applications to the cloud while keeping your core systems on-premises. If you're looking for a flexible, scalable, and secure way to transition to the cloud, hybrid deployment is the way to go. Chapter 6. Cloud Control. Choose your path to business evolution. So there you have it. The top five cloud implementation techniques, each with its own strengths and ideal use cases. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all solution here. The best approach for your business depends on your specific needs, goals, and risk appetite. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech insights. Drop a comment below on which cloud implementation technique you're considering for your business. See you in the next video.